symbolically representative of the sound of Om. So Brahma is the, you know, one could say birth, Vishnu life, and Shiva death or, or withdrawal. But that's the Om vibration. That's why we chant Om with three syllables sometimes. So, so they're the they're the personification of the creative vibration of Om, and they're viewed as sacred. And their dance and flute playing of uh, Krishna, these arts are viewed in India as being sacred. So art is a way for the sacred creative vibration to flow through us. And if we can do that, one of the real spiritual advantages of doing art, and it applies to any art, but when you do art, I don't know if any of you have difficulty focusing during meditation. <laughs> Probably none of you. <laughs> but generally speaking, when you're really focused on some creative act, you don't have trouble focusing. You, you, it's easy to concentrate. And so, at that concert, the, those men who are master musicians, but you could see the intense concentration that had become absorption for them. So, so they were completely forgetting their egos while they were playing that music. And the music itself was a high vibration, and therefore the forgetful, the self-forgetfulness was allowing a high vibration to come through. You can also get self-forgetful with a downward. You know, I imagine somebody trying to break into someone's home is intensely concentrated too. But that's a downward pulling direction. So what we want to do is have the deep focus, but with a rising and expansive energy. And if in everything that we do, if we can capture that, then anything that we do is, everything is divine, but it's more specifically so a meal cooked with love is very different from a meal that's done in order to earn some wage in a restaurant. You know, the, because love is a divine quality. And so uh, something that's cooked and served with the divine quality of love, it is in itself a spiritual practice. So yes, I think the arts are very much a spiritual practice. They're very good for devotees to do. They're very good for Kriyabhans to do. You can think of the intense focus uh, that comes from doing some art form as as being the outer complex uh, component of the intense focus that should come when you're doing your Kriya practice.